Global double XP for MCC and Halo 5 boosters banned a work list for CE. CE Flighting 2 also start pretty soon and a nameplate for you all to earn this winter break as well. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel a lot guys. And if you want to see some more content like this, leave a comment down below what you thought about the video and make sure to stay up to date with anything going on in the Halo community. Make sure to subscribe guys to keep yourselves up to date with any news coming to Halo. So let's get right into the details here. So as I mentioned at the top of this video, there is a global double XP happening for the MCC and for Halo 5 as well. So you get a chance to get your grind on, work your way through the different ranks when it comes to the MCC and work your way up to 152 when it comes to the Halo 5. Right now in Halo 5 is actually a great time to grind it out because one, you got Mythic Arena that's in there for the month and it's pretty exciting, a really fun mode. I actually got a chance to play on stream quite a bit earlier tonight as well. And I had a great time. It was fun. It was really cool to get a chance to play like a hybrid of Halo 5 and classic gameplay. And it's the best hybrid I've ever seen done. And currently right now there are arena and war zone packs you can buy with rec points and or uh, actual money as well. I spent all my rec points again arena boost packs and so I have about uh, just under 60 uh, legendary XP boosts to go along with this double XP global uh, you know winter break awesomeness. So all for you Halo 5 grinders out there uh, with the legendary arena XP boosts and also playing some mythic and also just regular team arena on Thursday on stream I was able to get just about nine to 10,000 XP per game. Now there currently is a situation where you actually can use a Warzone boost on arena games. If you join a session on somebody who's already searching and you go into Warzone, apply your Warzone boost and then join someone who's searching in arena, playlists and then you'll be able to actually use the uh, Warzone boost as well which I've heard those boosts can actually get grant you anywhere from 10 to 15,000 XP per game so if you guys are still trying to grind for that 152 because we do know we are going to get a little bit of a Halo Infinite tasty treat when it comes to uh, everyone who may reach his max rank in Halo 5 uh, that's definitely now is definitely one of the better times to do it so hopefully uh, anyone who's trying for that I wish you the best of luck um, I don't know if I'll be able to get it just because I've been, I've been playing so much Reach. I've just been enjoying it so much that I just don't know if I actually will get around to actually, uh, you know, completing 152 because I'm right now I'm at like 149. It's a hell of a grind, man. It's not easy to do, so kudos to anyone who's done it. Talking about MCC, we do have double XP on that on top of that. But the greatest thing about that, if you guys do not know, there were the previous double XP weekend and what kind of happened recently was that uh, there was a bit of boosting that was happening in the MCC so that people would just try to get through their uh, season progression a lot faster than others. What they were doing is that they were jumping in the growth ball. Well, at least most of them, I would say. Most of them were jumping in the growth ball, lining up. Everyone just trading kills so everyone just gets enough kills to where they kind of hit that threshold of performance to get that 8,000 experience for the XP, double XP with that, so make it 16k, and uh, you know a lot of people were boosting in there. All those people were caught and banned for a two week period, specifically during this uh, double XP weekend for, or two weeks for MCC and Halo 5. So to teach you boosters, that it's not worth it, you will get caught, and it will be way worse for you guys. Because look, imagine this, you wasted all this time to grind out double XP for a weekend, just to sword sling, slash you guys each other in Griff Ball, and then you get banned, and then there's a global double XP for two weeks after that. Like, that's gotta hurt, man. But hey, that's what you get for boosting, right? <laughs> and so uh, that's all I kind of want to mention about that. So let's move over to the future of the MCC. We have a little bit of a teaser when it comes to uh, talking about Halo Combat Evolved, uh, for mainly also CEA as well. 
coming to that. So uh, there's a list of different things that 343 is currently working on to make sure that this uh, game releases quite well. I mean, they did say that they learned quite a bit from Reach, and so they a lot of the heavy lifting, I think, from when it comes to bringing these games from console to PC uh, has been kind of done, which is great. Uh, CEA, which I believe is only was coded for... Uh, the uh, Xbox, but I'm pretty sure like since it's built off a of CE, which is also made on PC, that I could imagine this turnaround coming on pretty quick. Uh, the different things that they're working on right now are mouse and, mouse and keyboard support, FOV support, aspect ratio support. And this is an interesting one. Customization, we already integrated a 3D model with live color adjustments for CE and are investigating what more can be done, which is super cool to know. think about that. There could be more customization added into CE, which is pretty minimal. I think all you could do is just change color, and that's about it. So it'd be pretty cool to see if they can try to figure out some kind of interesting way to add some more customization to re CE, because that's certainly the one part of the game which is really lacking, just because it was the first one. It was basic level kind of customization. Uh, we have a HUD up as well. VFR support, input latency reduction, and obviously PC optimization, which is going to be coming for us, guys. So, and on top of that, we got a cool new screenshot of what CEA looks like on PC. Look at that nice wide FOV right there and a nice high resolution. Ah, oh, it's going to be so great to play that game on PC. I've been enjoying Reach so much on PC right now and getting a chance to hopefully play a little CE on top of that. Oh. It's just going to be fantastic. This is going to be great. Uh, I didn't see much in the way when it comes to the bump mapping issue that was mentioned by, uh, well, at least brought it to everyone's attention with uh, late night gaming. Uh, talking about how a lot of the textures and a lot of the uh, lighting in CE with the PC port made by Gearbox, uh, the visuals of it are actually kind of downgraded and doesn't look as nice as it could because CE back in the day in 2001 guys was actually a breathtaking visual accomplishment for sure. Uh, so um, you know it's kind of a shame to see that it gets a little bit of visual downgrade with the MCC version so hopefully something like that gets a little touched on. We'll see what happens there though. Also mentioned about CEA is that they're looking to start some flighting in January so that's gonna be awesome. I uh, definitely will be can hopefully get part of that flighting process as well to show you guys how great CEA will be like on mouse and keyboard and just the nice high resolution and everything in between it's gonna be great. I'm just I'm super excited dude. it's just a good time to be a Halo fan. I'm just really excited to be a part of this whole thing so uh, definitely looking forward to that as well. I'll keep you guys up to date whenever we get any news when it comes to the flighting schedule for CEA. Uh, so just make sure, like guys, like I said earlier, guys, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Keeps us up to date with everything going on in here. And also to keep in mind that we also have a little bit of a nameplate to earn as well. Uh, if you guys haven't earned this one already from last year, there's an ugly sweater nameplate and looks pretty awesome, very festive and in the theme of everything. And then during this double XP awesomeness that we're having until January 6th, uh, you, if you complete 10 matches in the multiplayer without quitting, that's multiplayer and or firefight. And the matches have to be on snowy maps. So anything that has snow on it <laughs> and you play it, it counts towards your total right there. Uh, so I actually don't think I really did. I played a ton on uh, Thursday night, but I actually I streamed a ton of it on Thursday, but I don't think I actually really played much on the way of, of uh, snowy maps. So I'm going to step up my game here, guys. But I already have the name played, though, but it's also just kind of fun to hit that achievement. Also, you can get it by uh, beating the par score on any two snowy campaign missions as well. So if you don't feel like playing multiplayer, you can play some campaign missions. Just beat the par score and boom, there you go. You got yourself a cool new uh, little festive nameplate. So pretty sweet right there. So yeah, guys, that's going to be looking for us the rest of the year. I'm still hoping on for a last a social stream of the year for 343 because last year they had a pretty big info drop when it comes to Halo Infinite. And so I'm hoping something similar happens this year as well. We'll have to kind of 
hold my breath and hopefully we'll see what happens on that one. If anything does come up out of it, guys, you make sure I will let you know on this channel for sure. So make sure you subscribe, guys. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button so it lets me know you really want to see some more content like this. And it greatly helps out the video and channel. Uh, make sure you guys leave a comment down below if you have any questions or uh, if you have any thoughts about the video or anything that was mentioned in the topics as that we discussed earlier. And if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, make sure to guys you guys got to tap subscribe like i said to keep you guys up to date with everything going on in the halo community if you're missing any videos make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now guys i've been uploading pretty much every day in december trying to give you guys some more content here so hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out